Howdy, everyone. Today we're going to try to make things simple for you, and I'll be quick to point out what an open game is, what a closed game is, and what a semi-closed game is, and what a semi-open game is. So are you ready? I will uh, I'll, I'll, uh, move the uh, uh, move the pieces such so you can see it, and then we will review a little bit more in depth. I will not be covering a game, but I, su I suggest you start looking uh, at grandmasters and see their opening place and start guessing uh, what kind of game this it will turn out into. And so it's we shall make it really easy. So again, an open game is where we start with the e-pawns, e4 to e5. So let me see here. E4, we've got a very slow computer here. E4, okay. Guess it wants to slow down. My bandwidth is really good here today. E4 to E5, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, that is called an open game. Okay? E4, E5, memorize this. Not always, but you know, just like in English, there are exceptions to the rule. Well, there are always exceptions to the rule, but let's just stick. To the basics and not go off into tangents right now you will learn that always exceptions to the rule but at least learn something first before you start going into uh, other uh, tangents and so e4 e5 it is an open game okay and therefore there will be open lines faster it's kind of it's kind of like you're on steroids and you get rid of the central pawns much faster by doing that you are going to open lines, and open lines are really good for queens, bishops, and what else? Rooks. That's right. So therefore, you will see the rooks going into play. Those long-range pieces have a lot of movement, and they will be uh, very useful. Whereas the knights are useful always also, but not as useful in open games where they will be used in closed games. So what is a closed game? Well, let's move back. A closed game is precisely this, where you go d4 and you answer with d5. Now, oh, come on, come on, you can do it. It can move, come on, let's go to d5. No, that's not there. I'm sorry about my lovely computer. I'm using a different computer that is has a slower speed. I think it's an i5 instead of a 7. So this is what the seven looks like. Let's let's move back here. I just love technical difficulties. I just really do. Let's go and start again. Maybe we'll we'll go to the other section. Okay, this is good for you to remember. I like to have bloopers. You know, we get famous. We're gonna have bloopers. This probably will be one of them. So let's try this again. E4, oh, much better. E5 is an open game. It leads to open files and and more technical play and faster uh, exchange of pieces. Okay? So there is an open game. E4, E5. That, you see that? That's what it's going to be. Then D4, D5 is considered a closed game. A closed game is the opposite. You will not see many pawn trade exchanges, and the center will be locked up. So there will be slow, like a slow cooker, slow advancement, and the queens, uh, the rooks, and the bishops will not have a lot of movement. They will be locked up. So therefore, your knights will have more uh, play and more value. You like playing with the knights? You can try playing closed games, and you start that with d4 and d5. Actually, a, cl uh, a, uh, a closed game is uh, just knowing that if you start with d4, you are flirting with a closed game. And this is what this would look like. And a closed game, my friends, would also Again, see very few Vinny pawns traded off, although things can change, okay? And it's a slower type of 
uh, exchange rate, not in currency, not cryptocurrency, not any kind of currency, but ex so exchange of how you exchange your pieces is slower because you're locked up in the middle. So you, you're going to get in crowded a little bit there. So your knights are the ones jumping around and doing some movements in the closed game. Okay, so those, there are openings that are they start with d4 and the, d5. That is considered a closed game. Now you know that there is a semi-closed game. Semi-closed game is the following. It is d4 and then any other move that a uh, black makes is considered a semi-closed game. Like here, for example. Okay. In a semi-closed game, you will see very few, if any, pawns traded off. There might be fireworks, but later on. So it is a slow Kirkuk type of uh, game with a semi-closed game. Now there is also a semi-open game, just as is in Tails. You will have half open files. Maybe one or two half open different open files in a semi-open game. Now how do you know you're going into a semi-open game? Well, Sherlock, it's easy. <coughs> Excuse. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you will remember this is the time I coughed. Let's see, it's my tea, my tea. <clears throat> you will remember the semi open game. That's where I, the chess educator, coughed. <coughs> I swallowed something. The wrong pipe. <clears throat> Excuse me. A semi open game is where you will see e4 and then any other move. <coughs> In any other move on <coughs> black's part. Like here, for example. Okay. And in a semi open game, expect again, these are generalities, not always. This is not fixed in stone, but these are generalities, and it's good for you to know this stuff. <coughs> so you can more clearly see what's going on in the board and then make a plan, whether it's going to be tactical play or positional play. Again, so semi open is you tend to. Uh, <coughs> See, one or two pawns will be traded off by each player, and you will have half open piles, and uh, the board will not be as locked up as in a closed game, and therefore it will it, uh, it, those long range pieces will not have as much uh, fluid movement as in an open game. So the the queens, the rooks, and the bishops in a semi open game <coughs> will have less mobility. So take that into account. What kind of a speed of play do you enjoy? And uh, again, closed games have more positional play going on, positioning your pieces, while an, an open uh, game has more tactical uh, acuity that you will need to know. So tactics is very important, right? So you wanna you wanna play a lot of tactics, play open games. You wanna practice your positional play play closed games. You want to practice everything <clears throat> and try uh, your your way into uh, those uh, murky waters where you just lose one or two pawns in the center, try the semi, uh, the semi uh, open game. Alrighty? And that's how it goes. So remember these positions. <laughs>